Hi, it's Darnell with Flame Loving Recipes, and today I'm going to be making up a thin crust chicken bacon ranch pizza in the New Wave Bravo XL Smart Oven. But the reason I'm showing you this is not just to show you a thin crust homemade pizza with the Pillsbury thin crust dough. I'm doing this to show you how the bake function works just like pizza, except bake has a working preheat. That's basically it. Both pizza and bake have the same exact settings as far as the elements that are used in the fan setting that is used. The only difference is the presets temperature and time setting to start with, but just an adjustment of the temperature and time and bake is pizza basically with a preheat. And with baking the dough, we have to have a preheat to get that dough baked right. So going to show you that now and get that pizza made up. Okay. So I have my Pillsbury thin pizza crust here. The instructions mention if you're using a cookie sheet to preheat to 400 degrees. I am not using a cookie sheet, I'm just using the baking pan lined with foil. So I'm going to preheat to the recommended 425 degrees Fahrenheit and I'll just use what I can fit in the uh, baking pan of this dough for the pizza. Now to uh, do this, since we want to make sure we do this dough right, the pizza button's good if you got like a frozen pizza you want to knock out, but if you want to do like the homemade type thing you want to make sure that you preheat the oven and cook your dough up right cook your pizza up right and so that's why we're going to go ahead and use bake because functionally speaking bake works just like pizza except for time and temp that it defaults to so hitting the power button and then i'm going to hit the menu button until it gets to bake turn the temperature up to 425 degrees fahrenheit hit the time tip button lower the time to just 16 minutes because that's about all that I'll need. I'll need eight to cook this dough and I'll pause it and then put my toppings on, start to cook back up and it'll do that other eight minutes of cooking the actual pizza. So I'm going to hit the start button. It is now preheating to 425 degrees. While it's preheating, I'll go ahead and get my dough rolled out. Okay, so I've got a little excess here on the ends, but I'm not going to worry about it too much. You know, just give me some thicker crust on this end here. So uh, I guess you could leave a comment, tell me how you would address that extra crust situation with this pan or how you go about it, I'd like to hear. But I'm just going to kind of have some extra crust there. So I'm going to go ahead and start getting my other ingredients chopped up at this point. Okay, the preheat has ended. It's showing the five minute countdown. So now I can just take my pizza crust and stick it right on in there. And then I've got it on the second from the bottom. You can have second or third for pizza from the, bo from the bottom, second or third up. I'm going to hit the start button. Let it count down until it gets to eight minutes left. Then I'll take it out and start dressing up my pizza. Okay, eight minutes have passed. Hit pause. Get my pizza dough out. It's looking kind of crumply because uh, I guess it's kind of bunched in there. But I'm going to go ahead and start dressing up my pizza at this point. Got my ranch dressing. I'm just going to put it on and I'll see if I can press anything down as I put it on. As far as the amount, I'm just using enough to cover the pizza. I'm not really taking an exact measurement obviously. So you just use what, what works for you. It's kind of hard, but get it down a little bit. Going that eight minutes help ensure that the pieces that are kind of enlarged are uh, properly cooked. Just going to continue over here. I guess, you know, I could have cut it down or something, but then I thought, well, I don't want to waste it. But I'd be interested in your thoughts. All right, got my ranch dressing all over there good. Now I'm going to take my shredded mozzarella cheese and just start distributing that out. This did come out of the freezer, by the way, so this uh, cheese is kind of chilly. 
Let's get some pieces broken up and get it all distributed. Alright, I've got a sufficient amount of cheese laid out there. Now I'm going to lay my chicken down. This is some, some shredded chicken from a chicken that I cooked. Actually, I cooked it here in this Bravo off camera in just a, a general cook. I was testing some things out for a potential video, but uh, the knowledge gained will be used in a future video. <laughs> now I got my Bacon. This is four strips of bacon chopped up. And this bacon was cooked in the Power Air Fryer Oven Elite for uh, reasons I've stated in earlier videos because I don't want to wait <laughs> to do it in the new way, Bravo. Alright, so we've got our pizza all dressed up. The smart oven has still been running to keep things going. And I'm going to go ahead and stick it on in. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit the start pause again. That'll get the clock count down from 8 minutes until it'll cook for that final 8 minutes and I'll bring you on back. Alright, final seconds and it's done. Gonna hit the on off button just so we don't hear any extra beeping. We'll turn our light on. Let's have a look at our pizza there. Looks very good. Alright, so I'm gonna just take the pizza by the pan there. Gonna get that pushed in, close it up. I'll just set it right here. I'm going to turn the uh, light off there. I'm going to just move my cutting board up a little further for your easier viewing. And uh, going to just try and gently get it out from the pan by the edges of the foil. So just going to pull it up here. If I can get it up. A little piece of stuck on the foil on your bottom there, it seems. Alright, now maybe I can pull it up safely. And just rip in there. Let's get it here. Alright. That's good to go. Let me get this pan and stuff out of the way. Okay, so we've got our completed pizza there. It looks very good. I'm gonna go ahead and do some cutting. I got myself a plate here. Time to cut. Alright, I'm going to take a piece of this thin crust chicken bacon ranch pizza. I'm going to get one from the back end there. See that back got a little extra cook on it? That's cool. I'm going to go ahead and get the camera swapped around and do a taste test. Alright, our thin crust chicken bacon ranch pizza from the New Wave Bravo XL Smart Oven. It smells good, so let's taste. Turned out good. So basically you can use bake and cook your pizza up uh, pretty easy when you're doing your homemade pizzas. You're doing your frozen pizzas, use the pizza button to knock those out. And so now you know how to do baking of your homemade, you know how to do your frozen. This New Wave Bravo XL Smart Oven, it's a convection toaster oven that can uh, you know do your air frying, it can do your pizzas, it can do your homemade pizza, your frozen pizzas, grill your food up if you want it grilled. It can basically do it all. Cook your uh, cakes, your pies, good stuff. It's got a little bacon problem, but other than that, you know, if you want to cook your bacon slow, it can do your bacon too. Anyway, definitely leave your comments. Um, I'm 
on superwayofovenrecipes.com. I'm on Twitter at Way Oven Recipes. Also, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, share the video with a friend, subscribe to the channel, and good eating.